please use the reaction or the direct message to ask a question. We will start with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Vooch, you, you guys used that 20 to two second quarter run to, to get back into the game. What were some of the things that sparked that run and how were you able to carry that momentum the rest of the way? Well, I thought you know, after a kind of a slow start, uh, you know, we picked it up on defense event, uh, which is, you know, where we have to, you know, be uh, consistent to, to have a chance to win. And uh, so once we did that, we were able to rebound the ball and then we were able to get some easy ones also in fast break and uh, you know, everything started clicking. I think our shot making was great tonight as well. And you know, we made a bunch of threes, which always helps. Uh, so yeah, I just thought you know, after a slow start, you know, we started, you know, playing much better and uh, you know, we were able to build a lead and hold on until the end. Uh, at the end, you know, we, we had some, you know, careless plays a little bit that uh, let them get back into the game. But overall, I thought it was a very good response for us uh, after you know, last night's uh, tough loss. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Nick, how much of your off season was focused on improving your three-point shooting? It wasn't just, uh, you know, this off season. I mean, it's it's just me working on it over, you know, for a couple of years now and just, you know, staying confident with it. And um, so, you know, it doesn't happen, you know, uh, overnight. I know the media in general likes to, you know, post a video of a guy shooting threes and all of a sudden in pickup games and like, oh, he shoots threes, but it doesn't work like that. You know, it's it's a process. It takes time and you have to, you know, really put in the work and uh, which I've done and over the years and also been the confidence kind of, you know, mentally, you know, just uh, kind of look at that shot as if it's any other shot. I think that was the biggest thing for me, just me getting accustomed to shooting those threes and uh, in a high volume also for my teammates to get accustomed to me shooting those threes. Uh, you know, uh, us as a team getting accustomed to me, you know, being out there uh, more, you know, because we're always so used to me being outside in, in the paint or in the mid range. So it's also an adjustment for, for us as a team. So I think once all of those, you know, fall into place, uh, you know, that helped me. It also, I think the one thing that really helped me, I think the, the way I shot the ball against Milwaukee in that playoff series really, really boosted my confidence. And I uh, saw how big of a difference it can make. So just came in, just came into this year, just, you know, fairly confident and knew, you know, uh, they wanted me to shoot, you know, a bunch of threes. And so, you know, I, I tried to, you know, find opportunities to, for me to take them. And, you know, mo most of those shots that I make are just, you know, you know, spot ups where I'm open and my teammates find me. So, you know, I'm set and it's, it's pretty, you know, easy shot for me. Josh, did you have a follow up? I didn't. Thank you for asking. Oh, okay. Christos Saltis. Hello, Nicola. Congratulations on the win. How important for you to bounce, uh, was to bounce back after a tough loss last night? And also, what did you see from Cole Anthony? And what impressed you most about his game? That well, was very important. You know, not only after last night, but also in India, we had a tough loss. Uh, and uh, when we felt like we played well and uh, we had a chance to win. And then uh, you know, last night as well. So uh, well, last night also, we had quite a bit of a lead and then we just didn't hold on to it. So it was important. And I thought we responded very well. And uh, especially after a slow start, it, it was great to respond that way. Uh, and from Cole, yeah, I thought he, he was very good tonight. Uh, you know, he shot the ball very well. Yep. He, he shot the ball very well. And, uh, you know, he, he was patient. He was making good plays. Uh, you know, for a rookie, that's you know, pretty impressive. It's not easy to, to, to play point guard uh, in this league uh, at a young age, you know, obviously, and especially when you have a guy like Rogier on you who's pressing you all game. Uh, but I thought he, he was very under control. He was organizing us very well. And, uh, you know, he, he was making big plays for, for us down the stretch, too. Okay, we have time for a couple more for Vooch. Um, Alex Fleming. Good win tonight, Vucevic. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Uh, just fine. Congratulations on another double-double. But I'm looking at the stats and defensive rebounds, 39 of the 49 total. Did you and the crew just get together and say, you know, one shot and that's it? Because there wasn't a lot of offensive rebounding on Charlotte's end. But that's something we, we talk about every game. I mean, you know, the, 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 your, the defensive end doesn't stop until you get the rebound. And, uh, you know, there were a couple of times where they had a couple offensive rebounds. But uh, I think for us, you know, in the last couple of years, we have been a good defensive rebound. And you know, we have to continue to do that. You know, if you give a team opportunities to score, you know, guys in this league are too good, uh, they're going to find a way to score. And so uh, once we get a stop, we have to you know, make sure we secure a rebound. It also gives the opportunity to run and get easy baskets. So it's something we, we, we talk about all the time. Uh, so, no, tonight we're just very good with it. Okay, thanks, Vooch. All right.